Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com, and I wanted to help you understand the differences between a development and a DevOps role. So you often see that in a job ad. Someone will say, hey, I need a DevOps person. And, you know, when you look at the job ad, it's actually a developer that they want. Um, and so what is development? You know, if you're looking for a development job, well, quite simply, that usually means a given language and a given deployment platform. So if you're a Java developer, you might be deploying to WebSphere. If you're a Kotlin developer, you might be deploying to Android, Angular, JS to the browser, C Sharp to an iPhone. But you get it. If it's a developer role, you're developing something in a particular language and deploying it to a particular platform. Now, what about DevOps? So the idea of DevOps is that this is a role that somehow bridges the gap between a developer and the operations personnel. So we just talked about what a developer does. What does operations do? Well, I guess they maintain the life cycle of an application as it's in production. And so Bridging the gap between those two things means automating some of the tasks such as moving things from the development environment like a packaged war file onto a production server. Sometimes that's done manually by the operations team and DevOps is supposed to kind of blur the lines between the two and make those work better together. And so if you're a DevOps person, what you're going to be working with are things like Jenkins and continuous integration tools, Ansible or Puppet to help automate things, Docker and Kubernetes for container orchestration of things that are going into deployment and maybe even just automating the creation of those Docker containers and, and maintaining uh, Kubernetes as things go from development to the operations world. Might even be using GitHub and GitLab for distributed version control. I should say GitLab's more than just version control, but uh, that's one of the roles that it plays. But as you can see, the, the, the tools that even a DevOps person is going to be using are are pretty different from a developer. You know, you're a developer, you've got your IDE like Eclipse or NetBeans, you're developing in your language and you're testing on your platform. Uh, with DevOps, there's, there's a, I would maybe not say a lot more to it, but it's certainly a, a wider set of tools and even the tools are a bit more general. Um, you know, if you're a developer, you really have to be specific in your knowledge if you want to do something like create a RESTful web service with Spring Boot or package and troubleshoot code using Java utilities like JDEPS or Java C or something like that. What else would a development type task be? Maybe connecting to a database and querying it and updating it using JPA, Hibernate, JDBC, manually deploying earworn jar, jar files to Tomcat servers, at least in the, the test world and the sandbox world, you probably wouldn't be doing that to to, to a production server. That's more of an operations job. Maybe even going through some of your code, troubleshooting, maybe optimizing code, like taking a look at your CSS, JavaScript code, make sure that your web page loads very, very quickly. Like those are all the things that a developer would do. And it's quite drastically different from what a DevOps person would do. So a DevOps person is going to be creating parameterized and reusable continuous integration builds. They're going to be automating the deployment of war, war files to maybe artifactory repositories like JFrog or directly to production servers if all of your static code analysis tests run successfully, maybe integrating local Git repositories with GitHub servers, configuring build pipelines, monitoring DevOps metrics such as lead time and delivery flow, but really kind of working with tools and technologies and concentrating on tasks that as I mentioned, help bridge the gap between development and operations, kind of help merge those, uh, maybe not merge them together so much as uh, ease the transition between the two. Um, tear down the si tear down the walls, tear down the silos, boy, I hate that saying. Um, but, you know, it's kind of on a high level, something like that is what we're trying to do. So in the end, as you can see, development and DevOps are different. It's very different. They're both distinct in purpose. Development, very specific, a language, a platform, something you're building, testing, and hopefully giving to the operations team to deploy. DevOps, quite a bit different, not focusing so much on the language and the platform, but looking at tools that are a bit more general in purpose that can help any developer 
take their their code and take the 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 result of their work and move it into operations and help automate the the monitoring of of applications as they go from development into production and even looking at how they behave over time as they are in production and maybe even reporting back to the developers to to, to help get uh, changes made and, and update things if, if they go awry. But as you can see, there is a, a very distinct difference between the two. Now, a lot of people confuse them, especially when you see job ads, you'll see the word DevOps used when people mean development. And it's because the human resource people or the project managers that are writing the job ads quite often don't know the distinction between the two. They know DevOps is a good buzzword. Hopefully it's it's trendy. It'll get young people who are interested in the latest technologies to apply, hopefully. Um, I think that's what maybe human resources and project managers are thinking. Uh, on the other hand, people who are developers or know a little bit about DevOps can find it confusing when you see a, a, a job ad asking for a develop, DevOps person. But in fact, when you look at the description, it's really for a development role. So I think that's part of the problem. Um, also too, a lot of places are need developers, but they want people to have a DevOps mindset. And uh, you know, it's not, so, not such a bad thing to look for. So a lot of times people want developers, but they want them to be aware of some of the concepts and technologies that are important to DevOps. So the word DevOps may get uh, put a, a pushed a little high into the, the job ad or something like that than it should be um, just because they want to make people aware that, you know, they're a place that embraces a DevOps culture. But in the end, they're distinct. Um, uh, they don't compete. They do complement each other, uh, but they have distinct roles, distinct tasks, and distinct purposes. Anyways, if you want to learn more about Java development, if you want to learn more about server-side development, optimizing those JavaScript and CSS files, and even some of the ins and outs of DevOps, uh, head over to the server-side.